Gershon was introduced as the Bulgaria national team coach in Athens on Sunday. The 56-year-old Israeli, who coaches Greek club Olympiakos, will try and lead the Bulgarians back to Eurobasket tournament after a disappointing qualifying campaign for this summer's championships. Gershon becomes the fourth EuroLeague coach to double up his duties in charge of the national team. The others being David Blatt of FS Pilsen as well as Russia, who he took to European Triumph this year, Yasmin Repesa, Lotomatica Roma and Croatia, and Dirk Baumann, Rose Basket and Germany. There was something to remember for Monti Paschisiena after last weekend. Pian Gianni's team continued to impress in the Italian league, going 14-0 after a 191 road win against Sevilla Ware Teramo. This success represents the second best record in the Italian league history for consecutive wins from the start of the season. Rimantas Kakenis was the main man with 24 points and a 7 of 9 on two pointers. Two other Euroleague teams achieved wins. Armani Jeans Milano took down Cantu 79-70 in a hot regional derby. The dynamic duo of Danilo Gallinari and Ansu Cisse got 22 points apiece with an amazing 7 of 12 from downtown. Meanwhile, Lotta Matica Roma, after their brilliant win against unbeaten Parthenankis last week, destroyed Udine 93-64 and is now in second place in the standings. Moving to Greece, it was a hat-trick for Parthenankis, Olympiakos and RSTT Bank. The Greens jumped to a 9-0 record, burying Olympias 99-66, thanks to a 16-point performance by Dimitrios Dimantitis with a stunning 4-5 beyond the arc. Penny Gershon's team suffered but came through over AK Athens 85-77. Arvidas Machowska stamped the ticket with 23 points and Orgias Pentesis posted 17 points. Finally, it was an M&M show for Aris against Palinius. Anamotola and Jamea Massi signed a 16-point game totally and 9 of 12 on two pointers. Travelling on to Spain, the main event was at the Palau Blaugrana, where AXA FC Barcelona and Tau Ceramica squared up in a Euroleague type game. The final score of 89-85 rewarded Yaka Lakovic and co, despite a Pete Mikkel losing effort of 25 points with a perfect 8-on-8 eight eight from the free throw line. Unica Hamalaga continued their recent positive streak, winning 83-73 in Girona with a great fourth period. Jerry Wells and German Gabriel were the main heroes for Malaga with 19 and 17 points respectively.